In life, very few things are guaranteed. Death, taxes, and the NBA GOAT debate. You can run, you can hide, but eventually, it'll always find its way back into your life. And as much as we think we know about the game, us mere mortal hoop fans have never seen greatness up close and personal like actual NBA players have. So who better to ask about this age-old debate than the players themselves? From all-time greats to Hall of Famers to role players, if we ask the players themselves who they think the greatest player of all time is, who would they choose? Well, we have the answer. And it may not be what you expect. Today's video is brought to you by DraftKings. Attention all college football fans, the 2022 season kicks off this week. Whether you're a Tiger, a bandwagon fan, I mean, an Alabama fan, or a woefully optimistic coog such as myself, DraftKings Sportsbook is putting new customers in the center of the action with an opportunity to instantly turn $5 into $200 in free bets. That's right, DraftKings is giving all new customers $200 in free bets when they place any pre-game $5 or more wager on a college football game of their choosing. It does not get any easier than this. It's literally a free dub. Just place a bet. Plus, with same game parlays, you can combine multiple bets from the same game to give yourself a shot at even bigger winnings all season long. Just download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, be sure to use code Jimmy High Roller, and new customers will receive $200 in free bets when placing a $5 wager. That's promo code Jimmy High Roller only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Back in 2019, The Athletic conducted an anonymous poll involving 127 active NBA players. Sam Amick wrote an excellent piece on this poll, I highly recommend checking it out. And throughout this poll, these NBA players were asked to give their opinions on an array of topics, like who's the toughest player in the NBA, who talks the most trash, who's the best defensive player. For example, one of the questions in the poll was, who's the MVP? James Harden received the most votes from the players, but Giannis ended up taking home the award. Another question these players were asked was, what do you see as the biggest issue facing the league? 30% of players said officiating. But of the 16 questions that were asked in this poll, the question that had the largest discrepancy in votes was, who's the best player of all time? Now, the best thing about anonymous polls is that players can be as open and as honest as they want to without worrying about being criticized for their answers later down the road. And, well, the players were brutally honest. In fifth place was a tie between Magic Johnson, Allen Iverson, and Kevin Durant, all receiving 1% of the votes. In fourth was Kareem. In third was Kobe. In second was LeBron with 11.9% of all votes. And in first with a resounding 73% of the votes was Michael Jordan. Granted, this poll was three seasons ago before LeBron won his fourth championship and fourth finals MVP. But it seems like this debate isn't much of a debate at all. The experts had spoken, and the answer was clear as day. But I want to take a deeper look at these results. What if we removed the anonymity, peeled back the curtain, and saw how these players voted? Well, I searched. I scoured the internet for every opinion and take on the GOAT debate that I could find, specifically from NBA players. And along the way, I found some interesting things. Like this article from ESPN that says that Michael Jordan is better than LeBron in every way according to NBA fans. And by every way, they mean literally every way. Like which one of them has the better shoes, who'd they rather have a drink with, and who has the better look. Riveting. Informative. Petty, even, but no use to us. I came across one video of Meta World Peace's take on the whole debate, and once you decipher his absolute dog shit handwriting, you'll see that he's got Oscar Robertson as his goat. He's also got Kobe and MJ taking up the same spot, not sure if that's how rankings work, and Kyrie Irving as the fourth best player in NBA history. I had no choice but to assume he was trolling, and so I moved on. Jason Williams, I mean, uh, Jason Williams gave his take on who he thinks the GOAT is and was ridiculed because of it on national television. Remember kids, even NBA players can't share their takes about the NBA without getting crucified. Now, it was hard to determine the true answer for some players since over the years they've changed their mind. At one point, Isaiah Thomas said Jordan was the GOAT, and then he said it was LeBron, and then he said it was Kareem, and then he said it was LeBron again. Originally, Scottie Pippen said MJ was the GOAT. Then, years later, said it was LeBron. 
then MJ, and then he said it was Wilt Chamberlain, and then he said it was LeBron again. Unfortunately, some players refuse to give an answer on the debates at all. Like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who's been around since basketball was played with a peach basket and has somehow never outright said who he thinks is the greatest player of all time. But after a long search, I collected the answers from 112 different NBA players. And before I show the results, let's see what we're working with. Here are the 112 players that gave definitive answers on who they think the GOAT is. Of these 112 players, 49 of them are currently in the NBA, and 64 of them are former players. If we break it down by decades, four of the players that gave their opinion on the GOAT played in the 60s, two of them are from the 70s, six played in the 80s, 21 played in the 90s, 28 played in the 2000s, 23 played in the 2010s, and 30 are a part of this next era of NBA players. Now, of course, we're gonna have some overlap in the timeline of players' careers, but for the sake of this experiment, this is how we're gonna break it down. Don't like it? That's too bad. And before I reveal the results of this NBA survey, I want you all to make a prediction. In order, from one to five, who do you think received the most GOAT votes among all players in this survey? Pause it here if you need to. Got your prediction? Well, here are the results of all 112 NBA players and their GOAT pick. LeBron, Jordan, 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 LeBron, LeBron, Jordan, Jordan, LeBron, Jordan, 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 LeBron, Kobe, LeBron. Jordan, 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 Wilt, LeBron, Jordan, LeBron, 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 Jordan, LeBron, Wilt, Jordan, Kobe, Jordan, Jordan, Kareem, Jordan, 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 LeBron, LeBron, Jordan, 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 Wilt, Jordan, Jordan, LeBron, LeBron, Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, LeBron, Jordan, LeBron, Jordan, Jordan, Kobe, Jordan, Wilt, LeBron, 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 Jordan, Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, Jordan, LeBron, LeBron, Kareem, LeBron. Jordan, 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 Kareem, LeBron, LeBron, Jordan, Jordan, LeBron, Jordan, 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 Kobe, Jordan, 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 LeBron, Jordan, 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 Jordan. That's three votes for Kareem, four votes for Wilt, six votes for Kobe, 30 votes for LeBron, and with an overwhelming 69 votes, Michael Jordan is unquestionably the greatest player of all time, according to NBA players. Now, if we compare these results to the anonymous player poll conducted by The Athletic back in 2019, the results are actually quite different. Michael Jordan still received the majority of the votes, but this time around, it isn't nearly as decisive as it was back in 2019. Keep in mind, the 2019 survey involved only active players, whereas our survey included the opinions of many retired players. But I think it would be accurate to say that over the last three seasons, LeBron has swayed more players into his corner with his title run in 2020 and his unprecedented longevity that now has him within reaching distance of Kareem's all-time scoring record. The only way LeBron even has a shot at being the GOAT in the eyes of most NBA players is through longevity, which has widely been agreed upon upon even by NBA fans over the last few years. But I want to point out some really interesting things that were revealed while gathering all these answers. Wilt Chamberlain and LeBron are the only players that chose themselves as the GOAT. In interviews over the years, Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan have hinted at the fact that they find themselves to be the GOAT, but they've never outright said it. But even more revealing is that time and time again, NBA players, the guys that know the game better than anyone else, choose Kobe Bryant as a top three player and in some cases the GOAT, while most fans don't even have him in their top five. In fact, a lot of the guys who picked Jordan as their GOAT, like Kawhi, Durant, Jimmy Butler, James Harden, Vince Carter, and dozens more actually had Kobe at number two and not LeBron, which speaks volumes as to what these players value and how they define greatness. I personally think that fans of the NBA tend to factor in the totality of a player's career when considering where they rank all time, which only makes sense, whereas NBA players put more value in the actual ability and capability of all-time greats when ranking them. NBA players tend to see past narratives, situations, fortune, or misfortune, and rather assess these players based simply on how good they are at playing basketball. Now, I want to point something out. Most of the players that played against Jordan picked Jordan as their GOAT, but a lot of the players that played against LeBron also picked Jordan as their GOAT. In fact, if we look at the eras these players played in and how they voted, players across every decade chose Jordan as their GOAT. 
Whereas with LeBron, the vast majority of his votes came from players who may have simply been too young to watch Jordan play. This isn't to say they chose LeBron by default due to their age, but it is something worth considering. But what about the guys that played against or with LeBron, Kobe, and Michael Jordan throughout the course of their careers? Well. This is where things get really interesting, because out of the 112 players who were surveyed, 27 of them played against LeBron, Kobe, and Jordan during their NBA career. And of those 27 players, one of them said Kobe was the GOAT, four of them said LeBron was the GOAT, and 22 of them said MJ was the GOAT. Just think about that for a moment. Among the guys that actually played against and guarded Kobe, LeBron, and Jordan, 81% of them say MJ was the greatest player. But we can take this even further. What about the guys that played with Michael Jordan and LeBron James? Well, among these 112 players, 27 of them were teammates of either LeBron or MJ. And of these 27 players, 20 of them agreed MJ was the GOAT, and only six said LeBron was the GOAT. And I think this might just be the most revealing aspect of this entire experiment. The fundamental difference between some of the best players of all time, like Kareem, LeBron, Wilt, Magic, versus Michael Jordan, is that players respected these all-time greats, but they feared MJ. They appreciate LeBron and Magic and Kobe, but they revere Michael Jordan. Among all the interviews and articles I sifted through to gather the information for this video, it seemed like every time a player talked about Michael Jordan, whether they played with him, against him, watched him, they were all in amazement. Just talking about his game, you could see their eyes light up, like they were talking about some mythical being or something. They're all NBA players, they've all reached the pinnacle of their sport, and yet none of them see Michael Jordan as their peer, but rather above them, like he's on a tier of his own this untouchable, unattainable, immortal status. The man retired from the NBA decades ago, and yet it still remains Michael Jordan, and then everyone else. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always, until next time.